what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel it's Emmanuel here and this is hustle connect in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create a paypal account a paypal account that cannot be flagged that one is very certain you are going to be using this account is a very recent method that works perfectly fine and i'm actually it's my secret method but i just want to reveal it to you guys uh uh, this particular method you can actually be monetizing it you can be creating accounts for people and be collecting money you can be helping people collect money outside the country and it be rest assured that this account is secured you can't be flagged with this account so without further ado let's just go straight to the video so what you want to do first is to make sure the browser you are using to open this account is a firefox browser and you are going to understand why we need to use firefox browser later in the video but then the only browser you can use for this quest right now is firefox browser because firefox browser has a lot of features that we're going to be making you use of in this video so the first thing we are going to do right now is for those of you that have opened an account maybe you naturally use firefox on your pc and you've opened and by the way the only device you can use to create this account is your pc of course and like i was saying before for those of you that have, have been using firefox to create a paypal account before maybe you created a, a paypal account before and they flagged it all you need to do is to download cc cleaner just head over to your search bar here and just type in cc cleaner cc cleaner so you see right here cc cleaner download you download it and you use the cc cleaner to clean there's a free version you use the cc cleaner to clean your browser so it will be squeaky clean there will be no trace of your um, history and every site that you visited this is that's what this cc cleaner is meant for so you want to use this cc cleaner to clear your browser and after you've done that the next thing to do now is to adjust your settings with your firefox remember i told you you need firefox you can't use any other browser so what we're going to do now is we're going to type in this search bar we're going to type about about column so i'm going to be kind of slow because i want you to be following about column config about column config and then you click on enter it's going to bring this page so yeah they're going to tell you changing advanced configuration preferences can impact firefox performance or security just check this box here check this box here and then accept the risks and continue so it's going to bring you to this point so the next thing you're going to be doing now is to search for media dot peer connection dot enable so here is, it is here so it's currently in true what you want to do now is you double click it and then it turns to force you want to make sure this media dot peer connection dot enable is set as false so after you've done that the next thing you do now is you are going to quit the browser quit it and then open it again you see this is the cc thing i was talking about i already have it on my system so uh now that you've done this what you want to do is i would suggest that you go and change your settings that's very very important so what you do now is you are going to click on this three um this bar right here and it's going to drop down right now and you're going to select settings and then you are going to go to privacy settings and send websites a do not track signal that you don't want to be tracked so this option here you you select it as always so after you've done that what you want to do now is you are going to delete cookies check this box right here so every time you close your firefox 
all your cookies get deleted immediately so after you've done that what you are going to do now is you are going to download an extension to change the id of your device that's very important so what you're going to do now is you're going to download an extension that will change the id of your device so what you're going to do now is you open a new tab you come to more tools here and then more tools extensions for developer and then here you are going to search for user agent switcher you can just say random user agents agents then this is what we are looking for user agent switcher this is the one that we're going to be using you select it and then you add to firefox so let it add up you add and then allow this extension to run in private windows okay so you now have it here so what you want to do now that you've gotten this is you are going to change your browser and your os and the reason why you are doing this is you, are, you just need to mask your device you get you need to make sure you are taking every single precaution that will make them trace that this account is coming from this particular device for those of you that have actually used this device or maybe it's the person before you have used this device to open a paypal account before so now what we're going to do is we're going to select any browser here me i want to change the browser i'm using firefox but i'm going to use chrome right now and then windows you can just leave it at windows it's actually fine you select the windows and please take note of the windows you are selecting take note the number the numbers right here make sure you are very sure write it down if that's the case select it right now and then click on apply container right now so user agent is set sorry about that so user agent is set so what we want to do now is now that we've actually created our masking what we want to do next is we are going to now visit a site called wa.net wa.net what this site basically does is it helps you check your ip address you keep your ip address in check because we're going to be using this particular this the the way they program this website is they're going to help you be knowing how those people will be seeing your device and everything you are doing from you know currently now i'm using a net a, an etl network i'm using an etl network i'm currently um browsing from nigeria so everything is showing right here you can see that the browser is has changed to chrome and i'm using firefox you can see the magic right so now it has changed to chrome windows 10 as i selected it before so you want to make sure now the only thing that is left that i have not changed is where i am browsing for my ip address is still in nigeria and i'm going to show you what and the reason why i'm actually using this method is because of those of us that can afford to buy those high-end vpn you can actually use any kind of vpn you can use any kind of vpn to run these paypal accounts so that this is the reason why i'm actually showing you these long steps so now what we're going to do is we are going to now download a vpn and then we're going to download the popular vpn we're going to download winscribe 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 download so be sure to close these tabs i'm still going to cancel i'm still going to cancel this browser again before i continue anything so let's download winscribe first download so now they are asking where do you want to download this winscribe to please do not select windows do not select make sure you download it only to your browser 
make sure you download only to your browser so just select download and then download firefox and get extension oh okay okay let's actually cancel this reset container and go again okay so because of that stuff that we did that's why we cannot actually download this so uh let's go back when scrap okay now we add to firefox add so now we've already added let's not forget allow let's not forget to go back to our guy here so we select what we selected before we selected number two windows and we apply container like we did before so always remember to do that so now that we've got in winscribe what we're going to do now is we are going to log into winscribe so now that i have created i've downloaded the winscribe what i'm going to do next is i'm going to now cancel this stuff let me just spend this one for now let me just reset and leave it like that and then now come here get started free up to 10 gig so now let me create an account uh no let me create an account okay so now let me use my official email okay let me just say also connect first and now let me set up a password okay okay set up the same password again and now let me use my e email the thing is i'm not even logged in to this account now but then let's go Oh, the capture okay the capture so let me say it's it's y y seven f guys i want to okay create accounts usually mistaken okay are you serious uh also connect money let me try this so i hope this one is not taking two. Oh, oh i've already used this email so what to do 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 okay let me just use email generator so let me use image generator okay is off so let me just come here and temp mail.org so now let's use this to generate email for ourselves and use so now let me use this email okay uh let me just put it there and how's it connects 
connect money and set up my password and my password again and now let's what is the problem again wrong capture capture okay it's why why it's why why i always forget this capture i don't know why it's why why f so create account boom now the account is created so check the account for email confirmation so what i'm going to do now is come over to this place refresh and Oops, 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 oops. Okay. Winscribe. Open. Too much ads. Sha. So confirm email for ten gig. So I confirm my email so I can get more email confirm so i come back here so i refresh right now and then my email is confirmed so i head over to this place now and i log in this was what i tried before so let me say also connect money and then my password okay so now we've switched on the windscribe it's now live so what we're going to do now is we are going to change the country so we're going to change the country right now to romania so you search right here and you change to romania romania right here so we're going to add this so this is what we're going to be using romania so now romania is live so what we're going to do now we're going to go back to war.net that we went to the first time war.net and then we check we check if there has been changes so now you can see Romania has been set. So now our IP is now showing Romania. The ISP has changed as well. This is one beautiful thing. So now uh, our disguise is 90% and 90% is way, way, way above average. You can actually use this system now to do whatever you want to do and then won't be traced by anyone. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to cancel this right now and open it again open it again and now that we've opened it what we're going to do now is we're going to now search for paypal 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 so search So now it's going to actually bring be showing different languages based on the fact that we've changed to Romania. What we're going to do now is we're going to look for English, United States, and we're going to change to English. So okay, um reject. So now PayPal, we click on the first option, of course. And now you see it's now showing romania here you can see so romania but now we're going to you know to be sure again we'll scroll down again we'll make sure it is romania right here so romania romania is set 
so we we'll go back that flag already shows us that it is romania right here so now that we've set our um country as romania and then it's showing on paypal that it is romania what we want to do now is to now change the country we'll go now change the country to oman under asia pacific we'll go to oman right here and then we change it oman so now we've changed that to oman oman o m e n under asian pacific so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on sign up sign up and then what we're going to do now is we're going to choose business account and continue this is a flag here so now we're going to enter an email address uh let me try to use this my email address okay just to confirm it's still coding and boom so now i'm going to select a password let me just use a password now and continue and then uh so now what we're going to do now is we're going to be needing our nin don't worry you can use nigerian nin you don't need to use a forged um, identity use a Nigerian NIN so I'm going to be putting the name of the NIN I want to be using right now so I'm going to put the legal first name and my last name of course and the business name uh, okay uh, business name business name let's just say freelancer freelancer so now what we're going to do here is we are going to now this place is where it gets tricky but now there's something for i already prepared something for you guys so what we're going to do in this next step is we're going to visit the site of course we're going to visit the site it's where you can actually get an address in oman to use an address and a phone number that you can make use of so what i'm going to do now is open a new tab and search for best random tools okay best random tools and then in the search bar here you search for random address in oman and enter and then it's going to bring the result like this click on this first one here and then it's going to bring this so what you're going to do now is you're going to just hit on generate you're going to bring six address here so here is the number so just leave it as six out of six you can be able to get now so now here are six addresses that you can actually use and we also have phone numbers here that you can use as well so what you want to do basically is just start copying the address so let's start from the streets you copy the streets like this ctrl c you head over to and you put the street yeah the postal code we are going to get that later but let's go and copy more stuff we go to the city here's the city in oman you ctrl c again you head over to this place and then you paste the city and you go back you check for the pro the province the province let's just use soha you select the province and you head over to the place again and select and paste and what do you do next 
now that we've done that so the only thing that is left now is postal code so what you're going to do now you just uh you copy this address line right now you co co copy it you open another tab then you paste it and add address code a uh, postal code rather postal code postal code to it and enter so so what's it bringing mm, woman postal code let's just do like this let's just open this one Okay, let's go back and see the province again. The province is Soha. Okay, let's just search for Soha. Soha postal code. Postal code. Oh man. So the postal code here is 327. So let me just copy the postal code now and go back to this place right here and then paste it three to seven and what next what next leave this on our dollar and then click agree and then continue oh okay i've not actually added the number so let's go back to our side that has number we copy this right now calling country 968 be sure to confirm that's the calling country. Here is the number. You just select the number like this and go back. 968. Correct. So you just paste the number. So after you've done that, let's check. Nothing else is left. You just continue. Continue. Mm. Okay. Still on. Okay. So now, the next thing to do now that you've done all of that is to describe your business type. What do you do, basically? So what can we think of now? Let me see. 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 Okay. Let me just say individual slash sole proprietorship and. So now what we're going to do now, we're going to add a product service keyword. So what we want to do now is we're going to add um professional service, professional services, professional services. So that's the keyword. Uh, website is optional, so you don't need to add website. So what you're going to do now is you're going to hit on continue and then it's going to bring date of birth. So now you're going to add the date of birth of the person's card you'll be using. So I'm going to say okay 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 and nationality you select nigeria of course okay nigeria for those of you that are in nigeria or if you're in other countries you use your country and then the documents national id now the nin number let me get the nin so now i'm going to add the nin number the number so let me go so that's the nin so we are going to submit and it's loading So boom, you now have a PayPal account. So now this account, you can use this account to do whatever it is that you want to do. And that is how to create a working PayPal account. 
trust me this account is secured if you follow all the process as i mentioned in the video and you follow all the steps you can use this account to do whatever it is that you want to do you can use it to send you can use it to receive you can see there's an option for send money right here so you can use the send you can use this one to receive you can do whatever you want to do with the card but then that's not all so now that we have a working paypal account the next thing we're going to do now is to confirm the email address one thing is i actually forgot to log i'm supposed to log in my email address here because confirming your email address you're going to click a link and then if you click your link from another device that is not from the country they are going to know that it's actually not from that country and they're going to flag your account so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cancel this account now so in case you want to do it make sure after you've set up your account before you set up your account rather log in your email into this browser so now let me just cancel cancel done so i'm going to what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go back right now you see winscribe is off that is one of the things so i'm going to put it off right now and i'm going to log into my google account So I'm going to log into my Google account. So like what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log in my Gmail here. Gmail.com. Turn it off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put in my at gmail.com. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit on next and then the password So I hit on next now and then boom. So now I'm signed. In. So all I want to do now is just come to my Gmail, my Gmail here, gmail.com again, my mail. So here's my mail ready. My mail already has the message. You can see the trick I'm using bar so that's how to actually confuse them because if you're not smart they're going to get you so now what i'm going to do now you're going to go back to your winscribe and now activate your winscribe you see what i'm doing back so be sure to do that you activate your winscribe and then you confirm that it is oman it is a, a sorry romania rather so it's romania here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come back now and open a new tab now that that tab is open just leave it like that open a new tab and now go to paypal go to paypal and login login so the email i used i used this email dot com so enter and then the password hmm, I guess this is it try so now I'm back where we left off so I'm back where we left off now, now that we've done this what we're going to do now is we're going to now confirm email address confirm email so now I'm going to confirm email rather so I'm going to confirm the email uh confirm email address so confirm email address and boom you have your account your account is now live your account is live let's go back to see see that stuff is no longer there so you've actually created all that stuff so now what i'm going to do next is 
you're going to link your debit card or your credit card so i'm going to link the video that i actually showed you how you can create your your card so you just link that card your us card your um dollar card you link that card to this and then you can use this to be collecting money as much as you want to do whatever you want to do with the app so now that the account is up and running there is still one more thing for you to do and that thing is you are going to have to change your number to your available phone number but mind you please make sure it's a number that you've not used to register for paypal before so now we're going to uh, change the number you come to account settings right here account settings then um account owner informations now here is it so you are going to update this and you are going to edit each of them you can use the same number so edit so uh, you are going to choose nigeria right now and the account number and um, the sorry i say account number the phone number that you want to use three one so uh you do the same thing with the second one as well so you do the same thing the second one as well so you select this one nigeria and you change this to the phone number you want to use so then you change number <clears throat> so that's that's basically it about that so you head back to home I want to about means that I like to verify things like I really like to keep things in check so I'm going to go back to what I just edited now account settings and what else account owner information you see it's changed now you can also check through oh, there are two ways you can actually check let me see yes I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming that's no that doesn't matter anyway so that's basically it you have already changed your number so that's very important you need to change your number to a Nigerian number that's very 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 important so now guys that's basically how to create your PayPal account you can use this PayPal. You don't have to be scared. This account is solid as long as you followed all the steps that I showed you. And please and please, there's only one bot. The bot is for every time you want to use this PayPal account, please and please always use this particular browser with your VPN on. Make sure your VPN is always on and set at Romania like you did before. Make sure your VPN is always on. All this, all this, your settings that you did on the browser don't change any of it just leave them the way it is and now i actually forgot to oh, um, activate this guy right here but to me it doesn't really matter because i haven't used this particular um browser to open any accounts i've not used this browser to open any account so it doesn't really matter to me but for those of you that have used your browser your chrome your what's it called now your firefox to open an account before this is very important you need to always make sure you enable it before you do whatever you want to do so guys that's the end of today's video i will see you in the next one peace out